Hey everybody, welcome to Northeast Bass Fishing, back again with another video. Um, I wanted to show you guys um, what I got for Christmas from the family and then from the gift card I got from Taco Warehouse. Because Taco Warehouse, I'll tell you, after after they had some <laughs> slow delivery there for a while, they really have, uh, have improved on that. I ordered stuff like two days ago and it came, so I, I had a $50 gift card, then I had some things I got for Christmas. So I thought I'd show them to you guys before I go away to Florida for a few days, uh, drive my mom down tomorrow. So I did get, and you guys have seen these before, you know that I like these pig claw uh, trailers, jig trailers from uh, Lake Fork Tackle, and I've, t I've, I've mentioned it in the past. This is a three and a half, I like that three and a half inch size, but they're, they have these on closeout, because I, I, I can assume that Lake Fork is not making these anymore, so Tackle Warehouse must have a ton of them, and I like them. I used these a lot back in the day, and then I started using them again last summer after not throwing them for years, and... Uh, they're great. I love them. And, you know, for bulk packs of 25 for like nine bucks, you can't beat it if you're looking for a soft plastic jig trailer. They got a lot of cool colors. So I did stock up on some of these and I'll show you those first. This is the uh, uh, pumpkin chartreuse pepper, pepper claw. And I love when they have these, these baits with the, uh, with the chartreuse the chartreuse claws. I always like. I always like that option. And it's just a. It's just a smell. It's got that great garlic smell that Lake Fork has on their baits. And it's just. It's. I'm surprised they're not making it anymore. But that's it. And that's. They have a two and a half inch in some colors and the, th the three and a half inch. I prefer the bigger size, the three and a half inch. So, stocked up on that color. And as I said, that's the Carolina pumpkin chartreuse pepper claw one. So I've got a bag of those. And since these are 25 packs, they're gonna last a while. This one isn't marked, but this is just green pumpkin. Grab the pack of the green pumpkin. And what I like about the green pumpkin is I can take my dye markers and put some orange or some chartreuse on these claws if I want a little color on there, but that's the versatility of the just the green pumpkin. So that's the 25 pack of the green pumpkin. This is the plum color, which is pretty neat. Looking for something a little different. You know, plum is a great color on a worm, so on a jig trailer. That'll look really neat. And I didn't I don't think I, I don't even know if I had this color at all. I have to check the box that I have these trailers in and see uh, when I when I fill it up with the new ones. But that plum is pretty cool. And I also grabbed this blueberry color. You guys can see that on there, 25 pack blueberry. Let's see what that looks like close. That's really neat. It's got that little, little purple to it. You guys can see that in the light. But great jig trailer. So if you're looking for one that maybe you haven't tried and you want to get a 25 pack that'll last you for a while. And this black neon chartreuse claws is the last one I got, which is pretty neat. You guys can see that being a very nice trailer. Great colors. So I'd say, I'd say I'm stocked up on these for a while now. Get these bulk packs, they definitely tend to last. All right, so that's it for those. I had five of those. I also... Uh, had on my wish list for Christmas. I got a, a pack of the one the Great Lakes finesse, like their bullhead jig. And this color is just raw, and these are eighth ounce. I'll show you one of those. So if you're looking for a <clears throat> you know a finesse jig head to use on that snack craw or you know one of the great like finesse baits or or your Ned, whatever you're throwing, they have some nice jig heads. And I haven't gotten any of these yet, so Nice sturdy hook, eighth ounce, small one out gap hook for uh, some finesse fishing. So I got a pack of those, and I I guess I must I guess I had this on my list. So it's in my wish list to everybody in the family. This is that the, the spro frog that I like a lot, and this is the lava color, which is pretty cool. And that's the bronze eye frog, sixty five. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna put these in the box in the bo frog box so I'll take it out of the pack and show it to you. So 
So that's a pretty cool looking frog right there. So that's that, if you were thinking about that lava color, that's pretty neat. I like that little orange on the weight on the back is orange. It'll show up nice in the water. And it's like a black orange skirt legs. That lava color is pretty cool. Nice sharp hooks. So if you guys like the Spro bronze eye and that lava, then what it looks like, then we're thinking about it, that's what it looks like. Nice looking frog. You guys can see that. A few different colors in there. Very cool. Got one of the uh, the optimum ba uh, optimum baits rig swim baits, the boom boom swim bait, and this is I'm not sure what the color is, sexy minnow. So I, I haven't thrown these yet, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. Let's see if I can get this out of here and show it to you, and be able to get it back in so I can hang it up. I believe these are these are I believe these are six inches. It says it on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it says it on there, but I believe these are yeah six inches, one point eight ounce bait. You can see the the rigging in there. There's where your line tie is. That's a pretty cool looking bait. I'd be curious to see what kind of side to side action you get with these. But if you were thinking of that boom boom swim bait from Optum, and they're like 10 bucks, so it's not super expensive. I would probably just bury this hook right in here, kind of like you do with the mag draft. Get it right, because they don't have a, actually, they don't have a slot for it. I mean, you could let it just hang there, but I, don't, I like to kind of, I would probably just put it right there, back up into it, and let it just kind of swim like that. So when they bite it, they're gonna get both hooks. But that's pretty cool. First time I've had these. You can see that that color through there. It's a nice looking bait. That's the boom boom swim bait from Optimum, if you guys were thinking of it. Let me put this back together so I can hang it up. Should be okay. So there it is. That's, it. That's what the packaging looks like again. If you guys can see the, the info on it there, hold that for a sec. You guys can get a good look at it. Must add ultra point size one hook, 1.8 ounce bait, six inches. So there it is. Looking forward to trying it out. And you guys know I love the Spro at Ruka Shad, the 75, 5 eighths ounce. Got another one of that golden perch color, which is really awesome. I think I have two of these now, which is great because this is gonna get thrown a lot. But that is an awesome color right there. Great, great trap. Feels like throwing rat trap. And the last two things I got was that, you know, I've been trying out that Bass Mafia Dangerous Swim Bait. So I did get a couple of the seven inch size. And this is the black back shad in the seven inch. You guys can see that good. And I wanted to try the seven, out, uh, seven inch size too. So I figured why not use my gift certificate and again. I remember how to open this pack. So here's what it looks like in the seven inch. So if you guys were thinking of that seven inch bait, I would probably rig that just with the tush hook like I was the six inch size. And I'll show you the comparison here. So here's that, here's that six inch size in that, with that tush hook. So here's the seven inch. So looking for a little bigger, little, Bigger swim bait to throw around. There you go. Six inch Sal Dangerous. There's the seven inch. So 
just a little bigger. Pretty cool. Looking forward to the rigged ones if they come out. But that is the, uh, what I say it was, black back shad, seven inch. So dangerous. And <laughs> like that guy I just showed you, because I like the color, is that blue back herring. Got that in the seven inch too, so I'll show you that fast here. This color I like the best. I think I like this color the best of the Zell Dangerous. So here's that seven inch in that blue back shed. Or I'm sorry, blue back herring. Blue back shed. But here it is, six inch, which I've been throwing this year. And there's the seven inch. I would think that same tush hook will probably be fine for that. I don't think I need that seven ounce, that seven knot. Tush hook, and I, I, I haven't been found the perfect swim bait for that seven knot tush hook yet. With that heavy weight, heavier weight, it just seems to tear the baits a little bit. But there you go, there's the six inch in that herring, that blue back herring, and there's the seven inch. Really cool looking. So if you're thinking of the bigger swim bait, there's what it looks like. And you know, they come in a two pack, so not a bad deal for a two pack. I put this back in right. I don't want to mess up the mess up the tail. And like I said, I just keep these right in the right in the pack. Keep them right in the box so they don't get bent up. Tails don't get messed up. And there it is. That blue back herring, seven inch. So that's it. That's what I got. So I got the, the seven inch size blue back herring. Black back shad in the seven inch cell dangerous swim bait. So if you guys are thinking about the seven inch, that's what they look like. That optimum sexy shad or sexy minnow is really cool looking. Another golden perch aruka shad, which is absolutely awesome looking. That spro frog. That lava color is pretty neat. Some of the Great Lakes uh, finesse jig heads, one eighth ounce. And then a bunch of the the uh, pig claw trailers. <coughs> Show you those quick again. Really nice looking, really nice looking jig trailers. So I would say so twenty five a pack. That's one hundred and twenty five trailers right here in five pack. Plus the other ones I got. Green pumpkin one, and last but not least, the one that I really like. A pumpkin with the chartreuse claws is really awesome. So that's it. So that's the order. Uh, some of the stuff I actually got on Christmas and the other stuff I used with my gift card with. And as I said, it came fast. So good job, Tackle Warehouse, getting stuff out fast. Love that. Love it. And uh, that's the, that's that's the uh, that's it. So I think all the new stuff that I've gotten, I've shown you guys. And as I told you in the other video, I'm going to be heading down to Florida for a few days, drive my mom down for, she's going down for the winter. So I'm going to leave tomorrow morning and drive her down, and get there at some point on Monday or Sunday night. And, uh, and that's it. So who knows, maybe I'll hit some tackle shops down there and have something to show you guys. So if you don't hear, see any new videos for a couple of days, that's because I'm in Florida, but I'll, I'll try and, uh, if I have a, you know, I'm sure I'm going to pass a Bass Pro somewhere or Cabela's. You know it's hard when you see those signs when you're driving you not to stop so uh, who knows maybe i'll surprise you with a video on the road all right so that's it so any questions on any of these i'll put links to this stuff from tackle warehouse if you guys want to check it out um take advantage of the sales that are still going on the rest of the year i know land big fish has one tackle warehouse still has stuff on sale i think these were actually even they're discounted anyway and i think they were still another couple dollars they might have been like seven something for a pack of 25 so if you were thinking of them now's a good time to get them um they probably just want to clear them out since they don't make them anymore uh but that's it so i'll put links to all this stuff you guys can check it out all right so um if i don't see you guys here uh for a full-length video soon i'll see you soon on youtube okay mark out